According to National Geographic, orcas, or killer whales, are the largest of the dolphins and are one of the world's most powerful predators. They're immediately recognizable by their distinctive black and white color. We all know about killer whales because we all know about SeaWorld and how they hold the whales captive. We also know about killer whales because they were the topic in the 2013 documentary, Blackfish. Not only have I done research about the topic of killer whales being in captivity, but I also know about the whole situation and believe that killer whales should not be held captive. The reason killer whales should not be kept, held captive are because they cause deaths, what, what happens when they're captive, and it breaks up families. To begin, let's talk about deaths. Deaths could be caused, they could cause deaths of humans or die at a premature age. Now, whales in captivity die at a premature age. And according to SeaWorld of Hurt, which is a website that is against SeaWorld, orcas in the wild have an average life expectancy of 30 to 50 years. Their estimated maximum lifespan is 60 to 70 for males and 80 to over 100 for females. The average death for orcas who have died at SeaWorld is 14 years old. This just goes to show that when they're held captive, they don't get to live their lifespan as long as they should because they're held captive and don't get to be out in the wild. According to the Whale and Dolphin Conservation, at least 156 orcas have been taken into captivity from the wild since 1961. 129 of these orcas are now dead and at least 66 orcas have died in captivity. SeaWorld has not captured a wild orca for 35 years and has 20 orcas captive in its three parks in the U.S. At least 49 have died. But besides dying at a premature death because of whales being in captivity, they also kill humans. February 24, 2010, in Orlando, Florida, was an incident that created headlines around the world and sparked attention and was one of the main reasons for blackfish. According to Melissa, an article by Melissa Hagenboom, an incident in 2010 dragged killer whales into the spotlight. In front of a crowd of visitors, Tilcom dragged his trainer, Don Branshaw, under the water and killed her. He had previously been a part of a group of three orcas who drowned a trainer in 1991, and in 1999, he apparently drowned a man who was trespassing. The 2010 killing sparked headlines around the world calling for the whale to be put down. However, Tilcom was not put down and continued to live his life and perform at SeaWorld, and then died on January 6, 2017, due to bacterial infection. Now that I have talked about deaths, let's talk about what happens when killer whales are in captivity. Killer whales are wild animals that belong in the wild, and when they're held captive, they become aggressive. SeaWorld of Hurt also states that anxiety and tension cause fights between orcas. In the wild, orcas have strong social bonds that may last for life. Their social rules prohibit serious violence against each other, and when fights do occur, they can find space to flee. In captivity, there's nowhere for them to go, which leads to injury and death. And the, re and the reason they don't get to really go anywhere is because they're held captive in a tank that's about the size of a big bathtub, so it's really a tight space. But besides being aggressive, and also with being aggressive, Corin Hen, in her article, says, in tanks, there is nowhere to hide from others. As a result, many captive orcas have rake marks, cuts that are caused by the, another whale dragging their teeth across the other skin. Captive orcas not only exhibit aggression towards one another, but also humans as well. There are zero documented case of an orca attacking a human in the wild. Yet at SeaWorld alone, there have been over 100 incidents involving orcas and trainers. And, the reason, and like I said, the reason they're aggressive is because they're in such tight spaces. But besides being aggressive, since they're in captivity, it also hurt, they also hurt their teeth due to boredom and anxiety. Achina Than states in her article that a study published in the journal, Archives of Oral Biology, reveals that among the 29 orcas in captivity studied by the researchers, all of them had a form of teeth damage. Among them, 65% exhibited moderate to extreme damage to the lower jaws, primarily from chewing on steel bars and concrete. 
Chan also states that evidently 61% of the killer whales involved in the study had gone to the dentist at some points in their lives to have their teeth drilled. Unfortunately, unlike humans, orcas do not have to have their teeth, their drilled teeth filled up, but are instead left hollow. Now that I've talked about what happens when they're held captive, let's talk about how it breaks up families. Whales are family. They travel in pods and in the wild, you know, and then in captivity, not so much. Author Jane Worley in her article states that killer whales live in family groups or matriarchal pods led by a dominant female. Each family has their own unique calls and they form strong lifelike bonds. Taking killer whales from the wild and placing them in captivity breaks these bonds, causing emotional stress. Killer whales are also moved around marine parks and constantly replaced with different individuals. So new bonds are formed and broken regularly. Tracy Stadner in her article also states that it's harder to be a mother orca in captivity because in the wild, cats are raised by not just the mother, but also the others in a pod. In captivity, killer whales are rarely with other family members. And since this happens, it makes it harder for mothers to nurse. Because whales travel together in the wild, the mom is the mother orca is usually the nurse. But in captivity, since they're held captive and in the small space, it makes it harder to nurse. Statter also states that orca calves hold their mouth. Um, that in captivity, killer whales are rarely with other family members, and since this happens, it makes it harder for mothers to nurse. Orca calves hold their mouth over the mother's teeth while she squirts milk as she swims. The small tanks make swimming and nursing difficult for both mother and calf. Now that I talked about how it breaks up families, let's conclude. Killer whales are wild animals and should not be held captive. And the reason for that are because they cause deaths and stuff happens to them when they're captive and it breaks up families. So next time you're at SeaWorld and watching the, way, the killer whales, think about their situation and ask yourself what you if you would want to be in their situation and what you would do. Thank you.